Hello everyone, welcome back. It's your boy Isin back with another video. On today's video, we have this game called The Outer Worlds. Now, I just want to let you guys know I have never played this game. So, this is a brand new, fresh start, first gameplay. I have never seen the gameplay, I have never seen the trailer, I have never seen the review or any introduction or summary of what this game is. So, anyway, let's get this started. Go for normal conversation subtitle yes yes and show cinematic also on why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars come to halcyon the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations a trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Wow. That was pretty cool. It reminds me a little bit of Bioshock mixed with Fallout. Um, not, should, not sure what stats would be good here. But let's take a look. Shrank affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. Okay, that's nice. Dexterity, melee speed and range, weapon reload speed. Ooh. Intelligence affects critical hit. Ooh, bonus damage. That's weird. Why don't they put that in dexterity? Okay. Bonus through extra headshot, weak spot damage. Um, charm. I think this is more like whether you can persuade people, I guess, or something. I don't know. Temperament. Increases your... Hmm. They're all really good stats, so I don't know. Um, I definitely want some... Hmm, headshot would be nice too. Effect weapon block. I wish... Well, I don't really know, like... Here's sneaking, for example. Ooh, lock picking. This is actually... Handguns. Well, since it's gonna be a shooting game, I think we should have more of dexterity than strength, maybe? Um... And then we'll put a 1 on charm. Perception. Uh, we don't really need this. So I think at least... I think it's, I think this is the best one. Um, skills. So we'll have good strength, high dexterity. I guess more of an maybe assassin type. Looks like sneaking style. High crit rate. Um, I do want to increase this one. Extra headshot, weak spot. Handgun, long gun, heavy gun. Uh, this would be nice too. Hmm. 
I guess we'll go for perception. So I do want some charm. I mean, if I need to persuade people. This one's decent, I suppose. Hmm. You'd need a navigational computer to find your temper. Oh dear. Did you actually punch out your anger, counselor? <laughs> Um, this is a hard debate because we may need me. This one says handgun. Well, I don't want to just be the handgun kind of person. Well, hopefully when we level up later, hopefully we'll increase something. Because I definitely want some perception and some charm. Temperament, um, I don't really need it. I do want some high dexterity and high intelligence for that crit rate. Um, would be nice for the headshot, but we already get the crit rate. So let's... Okay, I think this is good. Uh, uh, yep. Next skill. So how do I... Oh! A gunslinger. Oh, we're Ooh. going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Oh, really? No! Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. A crack shot. Capital. Tech. Leadership. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can I press? Yes. Okay. Maybe I'll dec decrease this and I guess perception maybe because it does affect guys see this okay so all of these skills are good melee range defense which is your dodge and your block I don't really need it dialogue persuade skill and conversation lying intimidation and then here comes the stealth this is gonna be real nice I mean um, I don't think I will do that um, I don't think I'll maybe not do a lot of um, sneaking skill but there's medical, science, I mean science here is a science skill of increased damage of plasma and shock weapon damage. So you can actually create weapons just like the way Bioshock does. You can tinker it and here you have plasma damage, shock damage, wep and you can even engineer your weapons part and armor part and then you have leadership. Man, why is all of these so good guys? I don't know which one to pick. You know what? I'm just gonna go for Your attack. Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. Yep, I'm gonna go range for the for the weapons. Um, you got the handgun, long guns, heavy guns, and then we get the attack. Okay. Aptitude, no. Beverage service technician. Oh, drink effect duration plus three percent. A human cocktail shaker. Ooh, bureaucrat, cashier. <laughs> No transaction is finished. You live in a good chunk. So I think you get more money. Oh, persuasion. Shock damage received. Um, elevator. Engineering. Dodge. And ray damage received. You got this bonus for the two burst. But you stayed for the plowing. Planning. It's on, it isn't honest work if you come home clean. Oh, that's cool. Food additives. Uh, food duration so okay toss ball inspiration medical technician junior grade Ooh, I might actually get this one safety inspector plasma damage received in your line of work the corporation meets more protection as personnel you prefer think of workplace accident as a 
Ooh, that's nice. You've cleaned your way. Um, even if you can enjoy some. So, the scientist assistant. That's maybe it because the science says plasma damage, shock damage, weapon effect. That ooh, let me see if I can get more. I definitely want this one too, cause like the um, persuasion would be nice. Science plus one. Ugh, it's so difficult to pick. They're all so good. So... Let's go science. Well, you are technically assisting me. Okay. Gender. Um... Let's go for the female and... Head. Ew. Creepy. Okay, so from here we have a bunch of uh, customization. It's not too bad. It's not very specific. Um, like, you know, like Blade and Soul. I mean, not Blade and Soul. Um, ah, I can't. Black Desert. There you go. Um, but I don't find any of these good looking. Oh, I guess this one is not too bad. I mean, you are in like an older. Ooh, okay, this one is not. I actually like this one. Not too bad. I'll go for this one. Skin tone. I kind of want to make it as pale as possible, for whatever reason. Black color. Ooh. Ooh, I like blue. Ooh, did you guys see that? Nice. Oh, this is bro oh, brow. Oh, what to say? That's weird. Um, oh, ooh, I like this one too blue for my taste, but okay, I'll pick this one. Um, uh, maybe that first blue, uh, too dark, too dark, okay, bro, brow, horizontal. What does that mean? Okay. Okay. Brow vertical. Happy face. Angry face, happy face, angry face. Eye horizontal. No, I don't want to change that. Eye size. Nope. Nope. Jaw vertical. Um, I guess that's. How sharp can you get these jaw lines? The crimson chin. Okay. Let's make it a little bit, I guess, tinier face. Some big ass lips. Oh, mama. I like this one. Out vertical. Um, out vertical. Nah, I think it's good. No size. Not my preference. Like, come on, a little tiny nose. Nose tilt. This one is good. I don't know, man. Looks like no sweat. There we go. Nose vertical. I guess that's how. Okay, we'll just leave it alone like that. Nose vertical. Cheeks. Okay. 
Okay. This one's not too bad. Um, hair. Um, too short for my taste. Oh. Oh. They got some nice looking hair. Ooh. Whoa. That's new. I've never seen this kind of hairstyle in the game before. Whoa. Whoa. This is one of them like uh high not high class, but like one of those ladies with the long long uh boots. A uh, messy Why does this look like a guy? <laughs> Afro. Okay. I definitely like. I think this is the best one out of all of them. Yep. Hair color. Man, she's starting to look like Ripley from Alien. <laughs> Let me make her some weird, like, hair color purple. Okay, that'll do. Ah, uh, unibrow. Ooh, I like this one. Facial hair. Oh, hell no! Nah. <laughs> Facial hair. <laughs> Yo, okay, that's that's not good. Okay. And feature makeup. Ooh. So these Ooh, I like this type of makeup. They even got zombies? God. Is that a nosebleed? With the facial hair. Oh man, you can't see it. Jeez, why is it so ugly and wrinkly? Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> okay, let me let me decrease all that because I don't want any of that. I do like one makeup though. I like this one. But I wish it's a different color. Um, okay, this should be good. Uh, key. Let's name it Angelic Sin. Enter. Okay. Handgun 26. Yep. Yep. More medical, yep, yep, should be good. Okay, let's go with this. Let's see what this guy has to say. Uh oh, something's wrong. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, is he saving me? He's 
taking my pot away. Not likely, bootlickers. Oh, damn. Initiate skip jump. Whoa. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down. <sighs> Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Um... Okay. Oh. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. Oh, no! It's kind of scary. How does he know which button to press, huh? Ah, you've landed good! Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Are you kidding oh, well, me? No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Are you kidding me? Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Jump. Okay. Left control. Okay. What is that? Whoa! Wow! <laughs> wow! This is cool.
What the heck is that? Okay. Is that a weapon I can make up? Okay, crouch. Where's that noise? Oh. Okay. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay. Sure. Um, do I just jump down? Kinda high. Ow! Okay. Who's this guy? Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> really? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Okay, I got a weapon. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Aw, he doesn't let me heal him? I wanted to try to heal. Whoa. Can I grab these? Tartar sauce. Pick up mag pick. I don't know what that means. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Here. Big looking. What is that? No. Oh, not again. Tactical time. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this world, standing still. Still drains very slowly. Whoa, so it's like enter the matrix type of thing, huh? That's cool.
space bar double click the jump on to dodge oh okay light ammo ring what is a ring okay press i to go to my inventory okay yo i look cute dog yo look at that booty the booty 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 um i got a weapon here okay Armor management, drag armor to equip, okay. Health, consumable, yep. Add consumable, adrenaline shot, bread. Natural head, ooh, okay. What is this? Child's used to pick lock. Ooh, nice. I can pick locks, whatever that means. Space, right back. Okay. Okay, journal. Guessing this is how we get stuff. And here's the character. Okay. Can I equip two pistol on me? Is that possible? Setting. Can I change my control? What? This is not the. WASD Reload R Yep Quick melee Inhaler F Companion C V Weapon 1, 2, 3, 4 Next weapon Okay, that's not too bad I like that Hacking and lock picking, okay. Telecoping staff. The type of melee weapon. Oh, 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 I, I did not know you can get on fire. Oh god, I'm really bad at this, guys. Oh, each. Whew. Okay, that was really bad of me. Need some food. Get myself.
Ooh, rebuilt mining gear. What is you actually have to fix your stuff? There's durability. Oh man. Okay, I where's the other guy? I'm trying to like loot him, but I can't find him. Oh well. That's okay. Where'd you come from? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Bruh. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Damn. Here we go. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. <laughs> okay, so am I supposed to come in? Like it. Welcome aboard. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Yeah, it clearly says the unreliable. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I'm not a marauder, what the heck? Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Oh, okay. Maybe I... Shouldn't... <laughs> Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. 
Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five, four, what? Three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> I like this ship. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I like this I ship. I am capable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Look at Alex the eyes. <laughs> Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. <laughs> oh my god. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need. <laughs> okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> <laughs> the powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Oh my god. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor Ooh, nice. and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Captain of the unreliable. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> I really Best like of luck this. In your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Oh my god, this is so funny. Oh, this girl. I I like this this ship. <laughs> Ooh, I have level up. Congratulations, you have level up. Okay. Skill improvement. Every time you level up, you can skill points, spend your improvement skill, improves all the specialization after 50. Oh, okay, that's cool. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Nice. Okay. Um. Let me see. I don't need that right now. This one is good. I do want to increase some of these. Maybe dialogue, increase a little more. There we go. Okay, definitely more of that. Um. Let me do more stealth, definitely. More tech stuff, yep. And then more range, good. Okay, leadership looks like it's not, not necessary. Apply, accept. And the perks. Okay. It says you've grown. Oh, okay. Tactical now nah, damage when alone. Nope. Off speed, speed, weapon durability loss. 
Companion crit. I uh, don't need that. Vendor prices. Price travel. Find a cumber. Maybe I'll need that sometime later, huh? Um, I may need some. This one, maybe. maybe. I'm debating between this one and this one. Let's let's do increase in health just for now. Since we don't really know what's gonna what is this one? Yep. Okay. That's in my journal. Codex. Need to know. What's in details? Reputation. Ah. Alright. What can I do for you, Captain? I'll be back. Goodbye. For sure, I have more lockpick. So, what's in here? If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 Whoa. workbench is at your disposal, Captain. And I got a free sawn off shotgun. Nice. Sweet. What is this? Toss ball stick? I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. Picking it up. Let's see what's up here. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Oh. Okay. Oh, so you can whoa, so you can reset your skill anytime. The Any ship's time. engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I know, I know, Ada. I'm just trying to look around. Trying to get a feel. Some food. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Huh. You have a crush on Alex? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. I see. Okay. So I guess I gotta get out. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. What? <laughs> oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd oh, that's so cool. <laughs> the water's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, they got some funny dialogues in here, man. That's just so funny. Oh, I should have repeat. Nah, that's okay. 
So guns also have durability. Oh man. Okay. I didn't know that. Die. Give me your money. Oh, poor resident guy. Sorry, you had to die. Two of them? Yeah, it's like the Pierce mining helmet. Maybe I can wear that. Yeah, I look ugly, but I guess the armor will do. So if you just press the shift button and keep pressing forward, it'll run. You don't have to hold the shift button. That's nice, because then I won't have to hurt my finger. What is this? This is a guy. I got a kill. Oh man. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Ew. Why are your face so creepy? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. You pod. What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Ew. You don't want none of that on you. That's Dave nasty. Silas, junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Ah, uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here. I don't belong here. Well, we do belong here. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. As long as we provide our own cradles. Hmm. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Seems like this is a not a good place to live in. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Hmm. I see. Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? Hey, I'm one of those. Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing, far as rumors go. Is there a reason you're asking?
Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Wow. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. So all this time has just been sleeping. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Trouble's in the asking. Board don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Okay, Something I guess. Something I can do for you? Change the subject. You run into any trouble? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Oops. So this works out. The You'll find him. In okay. Yeah. Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the Wow, one, that's uh, a long time. My life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Well, of course. Former people, yeah. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders Ooh, by the thing. Oh, good, good. Cause I've been killing those. Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Ah, avoid it. Shouldn't have said that either. Look, forget I said anything. Like this company is not a good place to work for. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. More like crazy people. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Evolution. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay, so I think that's everything. Corporate recruit. I could really go for some Dolphina. I could really go for some Dolphina. Um. Quests. Small grave matter. There's also one other thing that I can do. Open what's in here. It's the O. Yes. Okay, I better not steal those. That'd be good. I just hack the whoopsie. Hmm. Edgewater discovered plus six hundred XP. Nice. Keep your distance, friend. 
sick house is no place for a traveler. Oh. They start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. Okay, I guess I'm not shouldn't go in there. For whatever reason. Cantina. Yeah. Barber shop, health medical stuff, I guess. Is that a heart? You dead, you mean? Good. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Let's, let's increase that uh, time, huh? Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No. That won't Why do. would you want that? Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. You know about Eugene? How? Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Well, do Eugene's you want to Eugene's golden stuff? teeth were a family heirloom. Representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth yes, from you his can. jaw it's just to pay my those. bills. Can I? You gotta save yourself. Or... Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Nice. Good. My fee collection done. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you.
Nope, can't go there. Ooh, I can steal the cash register. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Go right ahead. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? Nope. It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. Your blisters on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. Do us both a favor and don't try to prove your point. <laughs> I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Go right ahead. Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. D Duh. I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic, since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained, inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word is, they're gonna replace her with an auto-mechanical barkeep. She's... What's the word? Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Plague. I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing. Look at his eyes. Look at his Some eyes. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but... The fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Yeah, Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is built on love. And like any real love, it is cold and tough when needs must. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Music to my ears. Merchant skill. Okay. Maybe I can sell. Whoa, we can actually buy stuff. Um, let me keep this just in case for durability. I need space. Huh? I'm gonna sell the alcohol when they need it. There we go. Here. Oh, not nah. latest report. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, the cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. I like how like we can hear these people having normal conversation, you know? It's nice. Staying long? I don't have time for this. You can hear them having a side conversation while they're just like looking around what's going on. Nice. Um So we are at a bar. Ooh, now. Taste of freedom. 
now with extra added artificial ingredient. Well, extra freedom sound American. Ooh, burn. Uh, ew, is that a... Ew. Am I in a bathroom? Oh. <laughs> Nasty. Ooh, can I hack this? Okay, so there's nothing interesting. So let's talk to the barkeep. Barkeep! I don't know you. I'm Alec Hostern. <laughs> uh huh. The unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Too loyal, if you ask me. Ooh, I can charm. You mean I can flirt with her? But oh, bro, she needs to go to sleep. Look at her eyes. <laughs> Allies and one ugly. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna pull over here. See really what happens. Think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. What's this about the sir? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Man, you mean I failed my way to charm her? Dang. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. If you want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Ew. I don't want that. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Go ahead. What if I... The Hope? No, I've never mixed a drink by that name. I could get you a rum and something if you like. Wait, you see how no, their eyes shift? Mind. We're all out of something. You see how I, her eyes is just like... I guess there's must be something going on that makes them I don't know what fancy bars you've been crawling, but the rest of us make do with zero G. Zero G brew. An ale that's good for what ails you. Man, they're being brainwashed or being forced or something. Would you keep your voice down? You're gonna get the whole cantina written up. See? The hope's folklore, alright? 60, 70 year old folklore by now. The board don't approve of spreading seditious rumors and falsehoods. Mm. You're inviting trouble talking that way. And I don't want a part of it. You sound scared. Look, either shut your gob or stick a drink in it. We're done talking about this. Dang, okay. Coming right up. Jeez. Um... Okay, well, I don't want any drink. I was just messing with her. Workbench. Ooh, so I can make armor and stuff. Oh, nice. Step to produce startup summary failure or main canary production line to heat processing. I don't know what these tickets are, but could be northeast town near the scrap file. Damn mechanicals. 
Okay. Oops, I don't want to. I hope nobody hear me that. What is this here? Nope, nothing here. Um, I don't want to accidentally go into the main. Oh, okay, as long as I don't go that way. We're good. We're good, guys. Ooh, what is this? Weapons, nice. Can use a little bit of that. So I basically can just steal everything here, like this is my house? Like, how come I'm able to steal? I mean, take... Just been a sign. A kisser goodbye. Ugh. Look up, think of me as I look, think of you. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you would raise her with love. Perhaps more than I make time for. Tell me her birthday. Turn to root. Searching one record pound. Set up last night reading through this young spacious guide, almost reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years. Reckon I'll take the next volume work to scannery. This and you've been taking my Might as well read the whole thing again. Hmm. I wonder if there's a limit to I guess it's just the weight, I think. Thirty two out of eighty. I think I got all the food at least. What's in here? I am just trying to find if there's a person to talk to or something. Um, yeah, maybe the nice occasional loot would be nice. Ooh, nice. Got me some help. Let's go down. Just the outside. Um, okay, let's not go there yet. Um, I don't want to go to the main building, Derek. So it seems there is somebody I can talk to right here. What's in here? To Emeraldville region. I don't think I want to go there yet. Saltuna Cannery. I think that's where the main quest leads us. Um, but I definitely don't want to go there yet. I still want to travel around the town for a little bit. See what's going on. There's a guard. Corporate guard. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to go there. Got my sights on you. What? Why? What do I do? This is where people make back deals, you know, or among other things. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> What's in here? I don't think I've been here yet. Is this a church? Oh man, that weird looking church thing that they were talking about, worshipping and whatnot. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. Dude, you're gonna get her in trouble. You idiot. <laughs> I think these confessions are more like... Are more like for the... Government, peace corp, whatever you want to call them. Just spy on these guys, really. 
Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? Uh, what? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Mm. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Of course, you guys treat him like a bunch of animals. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Sounds like you're terrible on your job. Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. No, more like good, hard-working animal. Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. Isn't that dangerous for you to say that? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Um, okay, sure. Well... First, there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, Seriously, okay. though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Okay, um, I guess I Mechanical get nothing out of this tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Okay. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Yep. Ooh, burn! I've been outside, I'm not impressed, I can handle myself better than a vicar. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, Ooh. I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Seems to me that Torres would be interested to hear your after this. On the contrary, 
My position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. I don't know, man. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Okay, sure. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. This is nice. I mean, I don't even need a guide and I'm just getting side quests for <laughs> whatever the reason is. Okay, so I found this place, the sheriff, now. Oh, there's a wanted poster. Dog Maybell. Bertie Cotton. Guilliamry Antrim. Huh. Why isn't the dock in here? Here. See, is that ammo free or? Just trying to quickly obtain some information. Yeah, let me talk to the sheriff. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Wait, what? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information <laughs> about can... this individual? <laughs> I can... He kidnapped me and froze my body and shot me into space, then landed in here. Mm hmm Shot you into space? You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice Constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. Are you serious? I hit the board's one. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is for a Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Uh, sure. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Okay, let's cut his finger. <laughs> Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker, what's that? Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? If you need help with the Marauder... As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three Marauders. Yes. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per Marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Ew. Okay. So I guess I will need to use this terminal. Just I guess some information, maybe to update the quest. Okay, we got what we need. Um, what's in here? Oh. There's like nothing there, it's empty. What are you doing, man? Wish we had some better rations. Okay, so it looks like I am good. Um, small grave matter. So there is one in here. This building. Why did I not see this building here? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. The heck is wrong with him? Is he like on crazy? Something? Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Dang. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. 
because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um, okay. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Ah, oh, I can't believe I didn't win that. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. You just said he's Wait, sick. No. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. You got the w- <laughs> Play, get away from me, you leper. She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Uh-huh. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. Depends on what Couple you need, I guess. Couple out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast. I'll do what I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Mm. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy. That's enough. my stop, man. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I can take care of them. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Ah, I'll take care of them. I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I feel like this guy's a drug addict. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Okay, so it looks like... Ah! Oh. I'm gonna you oh shit. Oops. Oh man. Okay. Somebody's been running around talking about the. Woo. Okay, we are good, guys. <laughs> okay, so I found this place, the sheriff. Now. Oh, there's a wanted poster. Dog Maybell. Bertie Cotton. Guillemary Antrim. Huh. Why isn't the dock in here? Here. See, is that ammo free or Just trying to quickly obtain some information. Yeah, let me talk to the sheriff. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Wait, what? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information <laughs> about can... this individual? <laughs> I can. 
He kidnapped me and froze my body and shot me into space, then landed in here. Mm -hmm. Shot you into space? You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. Are you serious? <laughs> I have to board my... <laughs> no, 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 no. It is for a Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Uh, sure. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints. So unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Okay, let's cut his finger. <laughs> Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker, what's that? Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? If you need help with the Marauder... As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three Marauders. Yes. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per Marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Ew. Okay. So I guess I will need to use this terminal. Just I guess some information, maybe to update the quest. Okay, we got what we need. Um, what's in here? Oh. There's like nothing there, it's empty. What are you doing, man? Wish we had some better rations. Okay, so it looks like I am good. Um Small grave matter. So there is one in here. This building. Why did you not See this building here. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. The heck is wrong with him? Is he like gone crazy? Something? Well, uh, did uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Dang. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um, okay. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Ah, uh, I can't believe I didn't win that. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. You just said he's Wait, sick. No. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. You got the way. <laughs> Play, get away from me, you leper. She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage, is all. Uh huh. Hey, you're hale and healthy, and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. Depends on what Couple you need. Couple hours I guess. out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast. I'll do what I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Hmm. 
More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy. That's messed up, man. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I can take care of them. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Nah, I'll take care of them. I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I feel like this guy's a drug addict. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Okay. Uh, whoa. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Who's this guy? Okay, where's my... There we go. Much better. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What? What do you have to do with anything? What the heck? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's a... Uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What is the difference between what you have and what he have? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Well, like... Yeah, that's not shit all right. yet, alright. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. Mm. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Okay. I'll think about That's it. That's all I can ask of you. Okay, okay. So we got that one. And let's see. The small grave matter. Please rejoice. Check there. How do I... I can't make a bigger map. So I guess I have to get out and talk with this one person. I've been feeling pretty low these days. Know how you feel. Not this way. The last objective is going over here. Okay. Ah, oh, he says he's at the bottom. Does that mean? At the bottom of a mine shaft or something. Oh no. Okay. Ludwig. So what's in here? I just want to make sure before we talk to the guy.
Ludwig, where are you going? Come to me. Whoa! Thank the law. What a creepy looking guy. I've been guy. requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh, are you okay? You seem. I'm talking about mechanical soldier, cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. You okay? Auto mechanicals, creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Um... What? If you're resistance, you're another guard. I am for hire. I've been hire. gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. Few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. I want money. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Les Resistions. They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Okay, buddy. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Okay, that's not make much more sense, but... Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller. Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially. Officially. Unofficially. Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. What? What are you talking? Okay, he's I told Silas crazy. I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. He sure did. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Yes. I'm glad I got that win. Because I would have, I was like, fuck, you know, what if I didn't, I wasn't able to persuade him. You know? Um, let's just check around in here. I don't think there's anything interesting. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Vending machine. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill 20 or higher allow you to sell items to the vending machine. Whoa. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Whoa, weapons, guys. Whoa, 600. Jeez, I don't have that kind of money. Okay. So, let's talk to that one guy. To turn in the quest. Fridge, the bathroom, sleeping quarter, bedside, bedside, we ride, oh, 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 baby. Okay, I think that's all of them. Let's talk to the guy and turn in the quest. Where is this guy? He's inside. 
sorry. I'll just be a minute. Let's not go explorer, let's turn it in. First, where's the guy? There's the guy. Phyllis. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Um, okay. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Oh, so this is the last person. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. You had to pay for your neighbors. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Mm. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Well, maybe... Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Well, I mean, the way you guys work. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see. So Why couldn't you I just say that? Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. What? What is wrong? Are you serious? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. Are you crazy? In other wow. words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. What is wrong with this town, guys? Seriously. Okay. Alright, what's going on with this town? I'm guessing I can't steal anything. Ooh, what is this? I guess I'll take it so I can sell it. I don't really know what it does, but it is what it is, I suppose. If there's anything worthwhile on vending machine discovered for extra XP nothing in here either
Okay, so it looks like there is nothing else in here. This is just Ooh, more. Hack the terminal. Only you. Bard, I'm guessing it's locked or something. I believe they keep a gun inside those uh, locker. Well, I don't know what's over there, but let's turn in the quest. I went the wrong way. Damn, what are these things? Grave sites? Holy crap, it is grave sites. It is creepy. Talk to the guy. Wow. That is spooky. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Yeah? What about him? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone, spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. No way. Let me know if you find anything. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Damn. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Oh, persuasion, what that work? What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Welp, hopefully you guys like that little gameplay. We got a little taste of what the game is about. We dropped down from the ship. We got into the town of Edgewater. We fight some marauders. We did some quests. We got some quests. You know, it looks like there's a lot of things that will be going on in the future. Um, but I would just want to thank you all for tuning in. And I'll see you all next time.